here is an application test question from quadratic equations IBSL grade 10. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will try to understand the symmetry of functions. Functions could have even symmetry, odd symmetry or neither. Here are six test questions for you to practice. In question number one, we have x square plus absolute value of x plus 1. b is f of x equals to x times square root of 9 minus x square. c. f of x is x cubed plus 2x minus 3. Then the function is x plus 2 whole square. And we have a rational function x over x square plus 1. A trigonometric function 2 times sine x cos x. You can always pause the video and answer this question. You know that the functions, symmetry of the functions could be even, odd or neither. Even symmetry of the function really means that the function is symmetric about y-axis. Algebraically, f of minus x should be equal to f of x. For odd symmetry, the function is symmetric about the origin. And algebraically, f of minus x is minus of f of x. Here we have provided you with four graphs. Can you figure out which ones have even symmetry, which have odd, which has neither? Let's take a moment. The very first one here, as you can see, is symmetric about the y-axis, correct? And therefore, it is an even function. The second one is symmetric about the origin and therefore it has odd symmetry. The third one also is symmetric about the origin, sinusoidal wave, so it also has odd symmetry. The fourth one here does not have any symmetry. Can you explain why? So this is neither. I hope visually it is absolutely clear how to find the solution to a question where we need to figure out the symmetry of a given function's graph from the graph. Perfect. Now let us try to solve them algebraically. Here are two parts, question number one and two I have been saying. f of x equals to x squared plus absolute value of x plus one. Now by making a judgment looking at the equation, what do you think it is? I think it has even symmetry since all the three components are even in nature. Very important. Correct? But let's find whether it is really even symmetry or not. So I'll substitute f of minus x and see what do we get. We get minus of x squared plus absolute value of minus x plus 1 and this is x squared plus absolute value of x plus 1 and this is indeed equal to f of x. Since f of minus x is equal to f of x, we can say that it has even symmetry. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve all our questions. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Most of our students are doing extremely well. Some of them are getting the highest marks and scholarships like Akshay. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let's continue. 
part b is f of x equals to x times square root of 9 minus x square. Now, let us figure out its symmetry by substituting x as minus of x. So, f of minus x will be what? It will be minus x square root of 9 minus minus x whole square, square root. So, that gives us minus x square root of 9 minus x square. So, indeed, this is minus of f of x and therefore, it has odd symmetry. Is that clear to you? So, you see how we prove that a function has even symmetry or odd. Let us take up the next examples. Now, we have a cubic function f of x equals to x cubed plus 2x minus 3. What do you think? What kind of symmetry it has? Hmm. You think it has odd symmetry? Let us check. f of minus x in this case will be minus of x whole cube plus 2 times minus x minus 3. That gives you minus of x cube minus 2x minus 3. Well, that is not equal to either f of x or minus of f of x, right? So, it is not equal to this since we have negative 3 here. Do you see that? So, this one is neither. Now, important to note here that we have this term 3, which is actually even and therefore, this function is not an odd function. Is that clear to you? Let us move on and take up the next example where we have f of x equals to x plus 2 whole square. First, I like you to make a judgment whether it has odd symmetry or even. Some of you think it is even, but it is not. Let us figure this out. f of minus x is equal to what? We will do minus x plus 2 whole square, right? So, even if you take minus outside and then we get x minus 2 whole square and that will be x minus 2 whole square. You see that? It is not equal to f of x. So, it is neither, right? So, you can see we have two examples here which seem to have even or odd symmetry, but they do not. So, you have to be very careful while answering such questions. Clear? Perfect. Here are the last two examples, very important. We have a rational function and a trigonometric function. Let us see how do we work with these. So, standard method f of minus x is what? So, we get minus x in the numerator, minus x whole square plus 1 in the denominator. That gives us minus x over x square plus 1. And this is minus of f of x. And therefore, this function has an odd symmetry. Is it clear to you? Perfect. The last one here is a trigonometric function. So, if I write minus x, I get 2 of sine minus x times cos of minus x. That gives me what? Sine of minus x. Sine is an odd function, right? So, so we get 2 times minus of sin x. But cos is even function, so we get cos x. Multiplying, we get minus 2 times sin x cos x. And that clearly is minus of f of x, correct? And therefore, it has an odd symmetry. You get the idea. So, important things to recall from here is that, let us summarize our results. We got the very first function has even symmetry, right? This one, odd symmetry. Here, it was neither even nor odd. That one also was neither even nor odd. This function, if you see, the numerator is odd and denominator is even. So, when you multiply odd and even, you get an odd function. Here also, we have a product of odd and even and therefore, this function is also odd function. You get the idea. So, this is also a very important concept to remember that if you have a function which is even, 
and you multiply with a function which is odd, then what you get is a function which is odd. Perfect. If you have two odd functions and you multiply them, then you will get an even function. So this is very important learning and from here we could actually answer many difficult questions. I hope with this you have understood the concept of even and odd functions. Perfect. So let me just change this topic to even and odd functions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.